what your mind says when you see this little notification in your phone well i don't know about you but when i see this little thing i'm like hell yeah hello everyone welcome to game of point this is your host amog and today i have brought another interesting video for you all today i'm going to update my redmi note 3 to the mi ui 8 6.9.22 mm. beta and as usual i'm going to tell you what are the new features that you will find in this update so without waiting any more let's get started So it's been just a week since I got last Mi UI 8 Beta 6.9.15 update on my Redmi Note 3. I have already posted a video about that update, so if you want to check out that, do check out in the description below. And today, Xiaomi has released another small update for the developer ROM, which is Mi UI 8 6.9.22. So let's start with the description. Here it says that in the highlight that they have added a new feature called as ringtones and system sounds. Then further, they have optimized the swipe down for toggles. and rearrange the toggles features there are so some bug fixes like weather widget issues etc and a new feature in the setting called as privacy protection password so this is also another small update for the developer rom it just weight in 94 megabytes so not so much huge in size so we can't expect so much many changes in this update so let's start the updating process if the xiaomi servers are fine then it should be downloaded within just one or two minutes according to my wifi speed so what i'll do is i'll just skip this part to the next screen when the update will be downloaded completely so now the update is completely downloaded and now it's just basically decrypting the update so it should be done within one or two minutes and done now our phone is ready to reboot to apply the update and overall the downloading process just took around 2 to 3 minutes so that was really quick so what i'll do is i'll just quickly update my phone and reboot it to this new firmware and then i'll show you what are the new features that we'll find in this update so guys now the device is rebooted so let's just quickly unlock this first so overall in the look department i don't see much changes again here also so now as you can see it says that the device is updated and tap to view the update info so let's just quickly go there to see what are the new features that we are going to get in this update So as you can see it here says that no update is available and the updated version is MIUI 8 6.9.22. So let's go to this what's new feature first. And here again it shows the same information which we saw just now about the update. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly go through all these settings to show you what are the new features that we are going to get in this particular field. So let's just quickly go to the themes to find out this new ringtones and system sound settings. So let's go to this themes and then get more themes online and let's go to the ringtone. So I don't know like uh, what are the new features here cuz I haven't used this since very long. So I'm not very sure what are the new features that we'll find here. According to the release note it says that they have added some new system sounds etc but uh, I don't see anything here new. It's just some basic ringtones that we can find on before also. So if you guys have already used this ringtones etc in the phone then you all will definitely come to know about the new changes here but personally I haven't used any ringtones from this theme center so I can't say surely that what are the new features here so sorry for that but let's just quickly move to the next release note the next it says that they have added this swipe down for toggles and they have also rearranged the toggles so let's just quickly find out that so let's go to the notification center and if you notice they have added this new feature from which you can just simply swipe down all the notifications to access them at one place so the swipe right and left has gone and now it's vertical so if you notice that hamburger icon beside the setting icon so when you will tap on that this will simply drag all the notifications at one place and you can also rearrange that so if you go to the setting then you can rearrange which notification toggle you want at the first place so you can simply just arrange them accordingly you want let's say you want the hotspot to be at the top so you just simply drag that up and then you will find that at the first place so the first 11 toggles will be in the notification center and others will be hide then further there are some bug fixes like the weather widget issue is fixed then also messaging app icon wasn't marked when messages were received in second space so that issue is also fixed so overall some small bug fixes and performance improvement i would say 
So let's go to this about the device page and here as you can see the Android version is 6.0.1 and the Android security patch level is of July 1st. So again that's also not changed so I don't know when we'll get the September or October security patch level update. And then further if we go to the storage then the storage here is 6.96 GB. If I recall before the update I was having something around 6.93 GB. So just around 30 to 40 MB has been recovered so not so much huge improvement here also. And apart from that uh, everything here in the setting page is also same. So nothing has improved that much apart from this new drag down quick toggle setting where now you can just simply drag down all the quick toggles. So that's a new change and I would say it looks better compared to the previous uh, type quick toggles where we need to swipe right and left to see all the quick toggles at one row. So this looks better I would say. And one more small change if you guys have noticed is beside this Geo 4G now it says Volt E instead of HD. So earlier it was showing HD rather than Volt E. So now the name is changed and now it says proper Volt E in the toggle center. And one more new change that I have found here in this update is that the Google Now on tap also known as search screen option is now enabled in this ROM. So when you will just simply hold the home button for a few seconds, it will show you the Google Now on tap using which this will basically search everything on the screen and will show you the Google search result. Though it's a native feature of Android Marshmallow, this was earlier disabled in the MIUI ROM but now I guess it's enabled for every phone running on Marshmallow. So it's a great thing in my opinion, though I don't use this feature a lot but still it's nice to see that Xiaomi is adding the native Google features in their new latest upcoming ROMs. So let me just show you a quick demo about how this thing works. So let's say you type something on the screen, let's say YouTube and then if you just hold the home screen for a few seconds and then if you go to this three dots and here if you click on the name then it will ask you to select the text and when you will select that here it will show you the search result of the name which is on the screen right now. So basically whatever is in the screen this will simply scan the screen and then it will show you the google search result for the same. So again that was a quick look of this MIUI 8 6.9.22 beta update on the Redmi Note 3. If you have any particular questions regarding this update then you can ask them in the comment section below. I would say it's a must have upgrade now cause we are getting so many new features such as google now on tab and new quick toggle settings etc. So you should definitely update this to this rom. So again that's all for this video. If you found this video helpful then I'll appreciate if you can click the like button below. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest MIUI 8 updates then hit the subscribe button. That's all for this video. This is your host Amok signing off. Bye bye and take care.